Greet you all in the highly exalted, wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the whole Bible tour in three years. Turning our Bibles to Psalm 38. Maybe this was a psalm when David's great sin with Bathsheba was found out, and uh, he was he was he was reprimanded by the Lord, disciplined by the Lord. And we see that the psalm was his prayer to the Lord. What a uh, contrast if you can read Psalm 35 and Psalm 38, you see a lot of difference. This psalm is in a very low tone, very humble tone, where in verse 35 is talking about victory, great things, very diligently before the Lord. And this psalm is divided into three portions. And all these three portions begin with he talking to the Lord. Verse 1, he says, Lord. And he, and he begins his uh, uh, first prayer. And then going forward in verse 15, he begins his second prayer. That is the second step. He again says, Lord. And then going forward in verse 21, he again says, Lord. So uh, this uh, calling unto the Lord is different uh, uh, steps. Or in other words, uh, they, are diff- uh, they are the divisions of this psalm being written. And here uh, we see that his faith was increasing a, from one division to another. Now, in the first division, we see, um, he says in verse 1, Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. So he's he, he's just talking defensively. He's telling, Lord, please leave me. Don't, don't, uh, don't, don't come to me or uh, don't destroy me. I'm, I, I, I'm enough. I'm, I'm already, already suffering. And the suffering is so great. Uh, though this, this might be a literal psalm or this might be uh, um, uh, a psalm that was uh, uh, just uh, portraying or a, or a poetic description of what he was going through. David was going through a diff- very, very trying time. That is for sure. Because um, he says in verse 2, your arrows have pierced me and your hand has come down on me. Now, previously, this was the same God whom David anticipated. He 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 loved if the Lord came, but now the Lord was not coming in the way he had come previously. Now he was coming with justice. He was coming with his hand very heavy upon David. And David was now telling, Lord, stop, please go away or or, or, or don't deal with me like this. Enough, enough, O oh Lord. He was talking in a defensive way as to stop the Lord. And then in verse 3, he goes on to say, um, your wrath, because of your wrath, there is no health in my body. Now, um, it, it is definitely possible that sin will spoil our physical health. Maybe um, it may not be directly seen, but most sins have direct implications upon our health. And if not, if not on, on, on our physical health, definitely they have an impact on our spiritual health. We cannot be healthy. We cannot be in right relationship with the Lord and also fallen in our life. And going forward, he uh, says, because of my sin, there is no soundness in my bones. Now, bones are... He's talking about an internal thing, a very deep sorrow, a very deep lack of soundness or a uh, lack of uh, strength from inside. Now, he's being depleted. On the outside is broken. On the inside is broken. And then going forward in verse uh, 4, he says, um, this is too much for me to bear. Um, emotionally, he was so broken. Previously, he was broken because of his enemies, because of uh, situations and other things. But this is the highest pain that we can ever carry. Uh, our own guilt. In verse 4, he says, my guilt has overwhelmed me like a burden too heavy to bear. This is too much. This is too much for me to bear. I just can't do it. So he says, enough, Lord, please take it away. Um, and uh, in verse 5, he's talking as if he has been stripped off by the Lord. Now, this is a poetic description of uh, being scorched by the Lord, uh, being punished by the Lord. Because he he really got a punishment when he had sinned with Bethsheba. He got a family punishment. Um, you know, he was put to public shame. Uh, he got a, a emotional punishment. His uh, son dying. He got a, a, a kingdom punishment. He was thrown away for his kingdom for a, a short period of time. He 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 got uh, back. Uh, you know, so much because uh, he he killed one person four times uh, um, because he. Uh, told Nathan uh, that man should be 
punished or he should pay wages four times he paid with the death of four of his sons so uh, david david went through a huge amount of toll uh, because of all this and that's why he poetically describes this as as being scorched by the lord and uh, he says um, uh, my my wounds fester and are loathsome and i'm brought down very low all the day i'm weeping uh, oh, what a horrible state now he doesn't uh, sound like the psalmist anymore um, and from there on he goes and he says i'm crushed by groan in my heart so his body his soul and his spirit all of these are being crushed and uh, finally uh, in verse 9 he says um, all my longings lay open before you my sin is not hidden before you my signs are not hidden before you lord i had that opinion but that now please i've changed i've changed so he's asking the lord to stop he's asking the lord to move little far away and um, his uh, uh, in verse 11 uh, he says his friends and his companions they all avoid me because of my wounds that, that means they're treating him as if he is a leper uh, as if as if he is uh, such a detestable uh, person so he was really beaten that uh, he was really inflicted by the lord uh, in such a way that even his close people detested him um, and in verse 10 he says my heart pounds my strength fails my eyes are not able to see um, and uh, 13 ears are not able to hear mouth is not able to speak so in other words we see that this is all brokenness total total brokenness and in all of this he says oh, please move away enough lord i cannot take anything more enough please move away this was this was his yearning in the psalm and now comes the second division and in this second division we see uh, his faith steps up verse 15 he says lord i wait for you you will answer lord my god so previously it was a defensive thing uh, I, that he he distanced himself from the lord he said lord please move away i i just can't tolerate uh, uh, your punishments anymore but now uh, slowly faith again builds up and he says i know that you're going to come i know that you're not going to let my enemy win i know that you're a merciful god i know that that you are going to hold me i know that when they are going to exalt themselves over me you you are going to help me that's that's what uh, he very very uh, clearly says he says you will answer lord i wait for you and uh, you are not going to pass me over to uh, the enemies in verse 17 he says i'm almost about to fall oh lord hold me In the previous psalms we saw uh, that he said the righteous may stumble but the lord will hold him so now he's remembering that and he said lord hold me lord i'm falling no it's it's not just stopping punishment that was the first division but the second punishment is but, but the second division and the increased step up of faith is recovery lord recover me hold me oh lord and then he says now my spiritual state is much better lord i don't want to hide i just want to confess and uh, many many have become my enemies without a reason in fact i am myself the biggest reason and then verse twenty he says uh, those who repay my good with evil large accusations against me though i seek to do only what is good so we see a repair in his life as he's confessing or he starts to seek the lord he starts to desire the lord he starts to hope in the lord he starts to ask the lord to come and to help him and uh, finally he he his desires have changed and he says lord there was a time there was a time i sinned but now my desires have changed and i desire what is good now coming to the last and the third step of his prayer the third division where his faith steps up to the maximum in the psalm verse 21 and 22 he says do not forsake me do not be far from me my god now He's, he's calling him as my God. Now, we see that this personal relationship is built. He says, Lord, I just can't stay without you. I need you. I, I need you to come quickly. I need you to take over. I need you to hold me. I need you to lead me. I don't leave me. He, uh, so he was, he was clearly, clearly, totally confident that the Lord is going to come. And his relationship was restored. And he says, my God. And then 
22 he says come quickly to help me my god and my savior so uh, what a beautiful transition the first thing was like god you go away because i just can't take it but now the second step is god come the third step is my god you will come precious holy father help us to be able to be very very careful with sin the sin has implications and complications help us to be able to oh lord with all our followers come to you with hope because you are a gracious god and somehow somehow you deal with us gracious god. otherwise we cannot live in the land of the living jesus whatever precious name we pray amen Thank you.